Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, continuing on with CJ's journey through San Fierro and a Not Meant for Children GTA San Andreas video. This one is involving mm, CJ and some property dispute that he decides to settle um, a little more violently than most people would settle things. And it's part of how he, Kendall, and Cesar are building a life for themselves in the city that is San Fierro. It's actually kind of a fun mission and kind of gross, but hey, this is GTA. Let's get on with the mission. Hey, homies. What up, Carl? What the fuck is going on? Do I look like a hooker to you? What? Those assholes keep saying shit to me. Who said this to you? The construction workers up that hill. I'ma fuck them up. Nah, hold up. I got this. I need to go teach him a little respect, huh? That's right. Yeah. I've been thinking about getting me some new land anyway. You can run and grab that piece of equipment and start mowing things down, but the construction workers are going to come after you. So you are better off trying to mow down the construction workers and not get run over by a bulldozer. But once you take down the construction workers, how you take down the portables is up to you. But I'm going to try and uh, basically run away from this bulldozer guy and get somewhere where I can get him taken down. And really, I think the best way to do it would be to you shoot down the construction workers. Bulldozer guy seems to be well protected, so... Um, Basically, get him out of the bulldozer and shoot him is the only way you're going to deal with the guy in the bulldozer who keeps chasing up. CJ. Again, you want to try and take down the construction workers first. Um, need this no more. That explosion helped take down one of the portables. Now, um, can grab the this bulldozer. Or better yet, grab the bulldozer of this guy. Again, he seems to be invulnerable. And get around. And just basically kick him out of the bulldozer. Jump out of the bulldozer. And shoot him. Now, you can start driving around and running over the portables. that damn clatter holy crap I didn't see nothing
Okay, the easiest way to do this is once you got the bulldozer positioned right, you want to just nudge the porta potty forward. You want to get it away from this pipe, and you just nudge oh it God, forward no. to where it's in line with the hole. And the construction workers are shooting at you. Hey, this is a clear cut case of self defense. Take them down, gather up some extra dough, and jump into the bulldozer. And you want to get it positioned to where you can just push the porta potty into the hole. Oh, that! Ah, I'm gonna blow! Once you get the porta potty in the hole, make sure you pull the bulldozer far enough away so that you can get the cement truck in and lined up properly. Now, I'm going to keep talking over this until I can get the radio turned off. And let's see, it looks like, yep, I'm, it's almost turned off. And so now you got to get the cement truck lined up properly. If you think about it, it's kind of a cruel, gross, and gruesome way to kill someone. Bury them in a porta potty under tons of cement. Yeah. But mission passed, and now you can move on to the next mission. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Do not forget to smash the like button. Yeah, what? As always, thanks for stopping by.